Well, here we go, guys. This is in response to all you viewers and commenters on my 44 Magnum versus 500 Smith & Wesson video from last year. You guys have a lot of uh, neat comments, but I'm going to see what we can do to disprove a lot of you guys' skeptics. Talk to you in a bit. Well, as promised, this is my follow-up and my response video to all the people that have commented on my 500 versus 44 video. Now, to you Spanish folk, this is mas el, el gordo puto, as you guys call me. I can't help it if I'm fat. It's just how I am. This is America, with the apostrophe and no A. But this is America, and I'm free to do what I like. And shooting guns, having guns, firing guns, they're my hobby. You guys got to, you know, just to understand that everything I do, I do safely. It's not a matter of trying to impress anybody. It's just fun. So I recorded on video and put it on there for the world to see. I hope you enjoy. But if you don't, you don't have to watch. Even if you're in the other side of the world and you find my video, you still have some freedoms. We have freedom here in America like it should be. First of all, what we got here, 357 Rossi, the six and a half inch barrel stainless. Then we have the 454 Casul, the rounds behind it, those are factory. 500 Smith & Wesson, I got two different rounds for you skeptics. The first ones on the left there are 440 grain gas checked lead these next ones these are the dinosaur killers 500 grain XTP Hornady bullets loaded underneath 25 grains of H110 last one is the one you've seen before of course the Taurus Raging Bull 44 Magnum and you see on the little paper there 210 grain jacketed hollow point 24.2 grains of little gun Back here we've got the Desert Eagle, 50 AE. We've got two mags loaded up. And they are 300 grain jacketed, H110, 29 grains. So here we go. Hey guys, everyone was saying that I was running light loads and I'm going to break my wrist if those were full hot loads. Well, if you're going to see broken wrists, you're going to see it today because it's not going to happen. In the 500, right now I've got the 440 grain gas check lead with H110. The 44 Magnum are factory rounds to prove that they are full loads. You guys don't understand. I'm a mechanic by trade. If you see my forearms, it's because I turn wrenches. I'm not a weak tit like some of you people that think that us in America or America are. Just watching the scene. Here we go. Simultaneously instead of one after the other. Two big bore revolvers shooting downrange. Ready? Not a big deal. Okay, now what I'm doing, 454 Casul, six and a half inch Raging Bull. 357 Magnum, again, simultaneously one in each hand. Now the reason you hear an extra pop, the 357 is a six shot, 
The 454 is a five shot. Okay. All right, the 500 Smith & Wesson, empty. 500 grain XTPs, 25 grains H110. I've only got three of these left. These are 440 grain lead uh, gas checked. I got two of those put in here. No idea which ones are which. The 454 Casul. Three hundred grain XTPs. Continuous filming. You're watching it all the way to the line from loading. Prove that these are not fake. Here we go. Not a big deal. My wrist is still there. Okay. Good. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? These are loaded up. There are they? Here they are. These are 50 AE, 300 jacketed, 22.9 grains of H110. I've got five loaded in here for the Desert Eagle. The Smith & Wesson has got these in it, the 440 grain lead. Hi right, guys, Polish Pistolero here. It's Chrissy, Ben, and Kevin. They witnessed me doing this little shoot today. For you skeptics that didn't think that I actually had loaded guns in that last video, thinking that I faked it by putting, you know, flash overlay to make it look like bang coming out and some sort of a soundtrack. Did you actually see me firing these firearms? I did. Did anybody see anything out of the ordinary or? I don't know. Did it seem like everything went boom just like it's supposed to? It startled me a few times. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, I know there's always going to be haters, right Kevin? Oh yeah. But uh, I hate to have to be the bearer of having to comment on baloney comments, but El Gordo Puto, as you guys want to call me, from America. We're Americans, damn it. And we're proud of it. Right? That's right. Shot that 500 that one time. Yeah, this is a whole different gun, though. I know. It wasn't too loud. You want to do this one again so you can get a picture of it? Sure. 
<laughs> I'm doing video. Yeah. Got a diggy. Got a got a little bit of definitely kick to it yeah. with the wrist. But like you said too, I mean, bigger person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, a little person doesn't uh, have any counterweight, right? Right. Yeah, I can see where. That's awesome. You want to try this one? What you want is that? 454 for sure. Yeah, the biggest gun before today that I've ever shot is a 357 Magnum. Yeah, that's so, that's a that's a <coughs> penny waste gun. <laughs> <laughs> that one seemed to have more kick than the other That's one. It's a lot lighter gun. It's only three pounds. Sweet. Like the kick on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that baby had a nice kick. That one felt like I was shooting something. Right. Well, that's factory round too, so it might be a little bit hotter. Nice. Nice. Like a 357. Do this. Put one of the 38s behind it. The first one is 357, the second one is a 38. See the difference? Yeah. God, it's kind of funny. Now this gun feels so light yeah. <laughs> compared to them yeah. things. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Those light ones are like the ones that are like shooting a gun and they're shooting a BB gun. Yeah, yeah. Well, those light ones are the cowboy loads. They're a lot lighter than really? 38 ones that shoot. And, uh, the second one that I shot, what was the, what load was that? 140, but 150 I mean, no, show me, what is, bullet. Was it this? No. The first one was this. Okay. The second one was this. <laughs> Holy crap. It's 158 grains. The same weight bullet, but there's only 3.4 grains of... Uh, Clays. It's a shotgun powder. It's a real wow, slow it was like, burning. It was nothing. Yeah. Oh, cow. But that's why in cowboy we don't have any real recoil. Mm -hmm. You know, and keeping on target shooting fast. That's weird to go from the big ones and yeah. then that being last. Me, yeah, it feels like a it feels like an air gun. Right. Oh, cow.